So breaking news now out of Polk County. Come to your TV here and check out this crazy video of a meat cleaver attack at a Winter Haven restaurant. Police say this crystal clear video from inside the China Park restaurant shows the moment a temporary employee grabs the knife and starts swinging it at the restaurant's owners. Our Michael Paluska live in Winter Haven with the unbelievable reason behind that attack. Michael. Jamison, we just spoke to one of the owners here on camera as we talked to her when we walked into the restaurant off camera. She said that she had some of the scars on her face from where that meat cleaver was tossed her way during this attack. It happened here at the China Park restaurant in the kitchen on the other side of the counter. Take a look at this video. Pretty incredible that they survived this attack. This happened late last night here in the kitchen of China Park. This is a small family owned restaurant. Winter Haven police say Chong Wong grabbed that meat cleaver and began slashing at the husband and wife owners. Police say that Huang was offered a full-time position at the restaurant by the owners because he'd been temporary for a couple of days. But when they asked him for identification to get all the paperwork filled out, he got angry. During the fight, Chung Shan was struck in the hand. Jia Dong was hit in the neck, but both were able to escape and call 911. Luckily, these owners here were only treated for minor cuts and minor scratches. Now, Huang faces two charges of attempted murder. The owners tell us that they have kids that are at this restaurant all the time. They told us they are not going to tell their kids what happened, and they're not going to talk to us on camera about what happened. They just want to move forward with their lives because they also said that they were threatened that if they did call 911 and report this, which they did. Wong said he would come back and he would kill the family. So police still investigating this and looking into Wong's past. We'll have more on that if we get more information tonight at 11. For now, we're live here in Winter Haven. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.